Hey, take a seat. The book has been signed. Take a fucking seat and let's do this shit. Sure Street Podcast. Hello, everybody. My name is Joey Sure. I'm your host. And today is a really awesome Monday. Yeah, boys. It's uh, your boy Brandon Sanderson here. Uh, just ready to have some fun here on the Joey Sure Podcast. Let's fucking do it. All right. So what's up, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, dude, honestly, I haven't (laughs) seen you in an actual minute. How you been doing? How's school? Uh, school's been alright. Yeah, I managed to get out of there with a a P in one class. Is that a pass? Yeah, I got a few B's and A's and C's. That's good. See, that means you can do, you can do better than C's, but... C's get degrees. Yeah, dude, C's. C's do... (laughs) C's do get degrees. That's what they say, Joe. No, but, um... I was supposed to be just getting back from fucking Europe right now. Modern Europe? Yeah, like straight up Europe. Hey. I was supposed to be in a study abroad trip that was, um, it was called the European Model of Sport. So basically, I was going to England. I was going to see Ma- Old Trafford, like Manchester United, where they play. I was going to go on the field. Dude, yeah, I was gonna go no the, way. Yeah, I was going to go on the field and shit. Um, we were going to go to, uh, France during the French Open, the tennis, Roland Garros. I was going to be sitting in France. Oh, not tennis. Yeah. No, I would have been sick, dude. What do you mean? No, but then, um, also at, uh, we would have been going to Dublin, Ireland. So probably would have been seeing some, like, rugby <laughs> stadiums and stuff, dude. It would have been so cool. What, what is rugby? Is it football? Rug- rugby is essentially Australian, like, it's football with no pads. Oh, uh, yeah. That's so sick. Yeah, dude. It's straight up. It's straight up football with absolutely no pads on. It's just full blown. Just guys drilling each other. You should. You should pull. Up, <laughs> you should. You should pull up a video of this shit, dude. It's not even funny. Guys just kill each other. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's not. It, it, it's a joke. Guys, like you can get concussed almost every single game. These guys are. They're absolutely animals. They're all. They're all houses too. They're all built like fucking, like, the Hulk. It's fucking ridiculous. Jeez. Yeah. How, how does it, like, compare to football? Is it, like, uh... It's, it's really, it's really different. It's, like, um... I've never really played, but... I've learned the rules of it based on just being in the, my major. But, um... It's essentially, like... It's, like, you, like, lateral the ball back and forth. And it's basically, like, going to get tries. You have to, like, dive into the end zone. It's, like, really strange. I'm more of a hockey guy, you know that. Yeah. I'm pissed, yo. The Stanley Cup playoffs are supposed to be going on right now. It's upsetting. Or de- the Devils, Rangers. The Rangers were supposed to be in it. The Devils were not. The Devils are. Devils, Devils are. are Devils, ass. The Devils had a uh, rough year, so. <laughs> so, uh, dude, I haven't seen you in a minute. How's uh, JMU? JMU is. I've never thought for a second that I made the wrong decision choosing a school, man. Like, JMU is actually the shit. It's, uh, Virginia's beautiful. They call it God's country for a reason. Because it's just, like, it's just beautiful with all the, uh, the, what's it called? The trees, all the nature and stuff like that. And just the school itself, all the people are so nice. The South is really awesome, man. You gotta get down there. West Virginia? West Virginia. I'm I'm in Northern Virginia. I'm just in regular Virginia. Okay. Uh, Harrisonburg. Um, the Berg. Yeah, the Berg, baby. It's awesome, man. There's so many people that uh, I've become friends with there. Just like, it's been a great experience the entire time. And it's just getting better and better. It just sucks that this whole quarantine thing's happening right now. I know. I, I hope it ends soon because yeah, I, uh, for me at least, I'm hoping for like New Year's to be going to LA. Oh really, dude? For what? Uh, me and my cousin are gonna go out there and network with a bunch of people. Maybe I'll go see my best friends that live out there. Oh really? They moved a few years ago out there. Who? Um, my my boy is uh Ethan. Ethan. Uh, training. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. They made their own little production company out there. That's cool, dude. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, I'm working on um, I was I want to be a uh, a facilities manager. For like a basically a sports stadium, so like game day preparations with setting up the field and just being in charge of that at some major sporting complex anywhere would be awesome. So the Rock, even the Prudential Center, I would do it at the Prudential Center. But obviously, uh, 
where I want to end up is obviously Madison Square Garden, you know, go Rangers. MSG. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's sick, man. Yeah. I'm really enjoying because I was in, uh, you would enjoy this. I was in intelligence analysis for a long time. Intelligence analysis is basically like government briefing. It's like, uh, if a, uh, if like a general comes to you and he's like, uh, mm-hmm. it's like, Hello, officer. Yeah, he's like, I need, I need to, need a, an answer for this problem. Like, what are, what are, what are trying? One of my, what I had to do was called like their analytical briefs in one of my classes. Um, it's basically you have to do. It's basically twenty four hours of work. It's ridiculous. You have to do. You have to find out like basically a question because they don't have the time to solve it. So someone would be like, "What are China's intentions in the South China Sea?" You know what I mean? They're they're uh. Whatever it is, you know what I mean? They're dredging yeah. sand well, and yeah, building yeah, islands. Yeah, building islands, with, uh, yeah. Air bases. Air bases and weapons on them, yeah. So I had to do a, um, I did a, uh, a briefing, basically, on, like, you have to come up with an analytical, like, hypothesis, like, algorithm on which, which is the best, and it's all these information, and you put it through this big graph, and it takes so long, and then you gotta type up a paper, and then you gotta do, like, a, Jeez. you gotta do, like, a five-minute presentation in a suit in front of, like, 40 kids. It's ridiculous, man. College gets hard, <laughs> but I, uh, I I switched you. I switched out of that, but cause it, cause there's a um there's a cap on it. There's a hundred like fifty people go in, about twenty drop out because they just can't do it, and then only fifty get in. Whoa! And, and if you get anything below a C, you, let's say you get like a C minus, you automatically don't make the cut. Sorry if I'm stiff in my hand. It smells like peanut butter. Yeah, I can tell. You had <laughs> peanut butter and sandwich when you met me when I got here. <laughs> Yeah, it's just uh, eating some peanut butter sandwiches and swiping on girls on Tinder. Yeah, dude, you're on Tinder. You were telling me just about just that. a little bit, not not too much. Yeah, I do it for the sport, the 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 fun. Yeah, I mean, I got on Tinder for a joke. It's funny on there, dude. So to all the listeners that don't know, me and Brian go way back, like fifth grade, way back. Yeah, our uh, my brother Ryan Sanderson and. Uh, Big Sure. Yeah, Big Sure, Joe's brother. Um, they were friends a really long time ago, and that's how me and Joey met. And me and Joey have been friends since, like, what? Like, fucking... Forever. Yeah. This is Halo 3. Like Halo, yeah. 2007, oh, yeah. we used talking. To, yeah. He told, yeah. He, he was, Joey was telling me, he's like, what do you want to talk about? I was like, let's just... Let's just free roll with the fucking... Let's just, let's just old, mess around. Our old fucking Halo stories that we used to fucking... Oh, dude. Out. I used to kick his butt in ra- racing almost every day. Oh my god, mongoose racing. Mongoose racing, yeah. yeah. Dude, damn. Yeah, the, the trick of mongoose racing, it's always getting first place. Yeah, dude, it's weird about, um, I, I was talking about it on, uh, to my friend the other day, that guy's voice is so, like, legendary, he's like, Forge. It's just like. <laughs> yeah, Forge World, yeah. Dude. It's like, Forge. It's like, uh, what does he say? He's like. Killing Manjaro. Yeah, it's like killing spree. You know, like, <laughs> I miss the old Halo days, dude. I think everybody does. Dude, yeah. Halo Infinite is coming out soon. I, I to be honest with you, I, I haven't really been following Halo really these past few years. I just grind on sports games, man. Sports games are my shit. Will, will you be playing Chell FIFA? I play a lot of Chell. Um. I'm waiting for the the show, you know, MLB the show. It's it's, it's PS exclusive. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really upsetting because I'm an Xbox guy, so I've never been able to play that. So the new uh but, you know Madden any game like that is my shit, bro. Dude. You know what game I picked up recently? 2K? Nah, just for just for shits and giggles because I used to play it all the time as uh or played a little bit was uh, Splinter Cell Conviction. Hey. The game's gross, bro. Game is great. Yeah, dude, it's so good. It's I, just like all like the. Last Splinter Cell I played was Blacklist. Yeah, some of them are. Uh, some of them are really really old. Some of them aren't. I played uh, you know the the new Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a really good game. I, I'm actually halfway through that. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's it's like all we we got now is like time. Dude. Yeah, dude. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're stuck inside and you have like an Xbox 360, like. You should honestly order off Amazon like a, a copy of like L.A. Noir, like a, a crime, I bought that recently. A crime detective game, something yeah. like that, dude. That game takes hours, and it's like literally, it's just like an actual. It's like a movie. It's like an interactive movie. Yeah. And it's like, you know, so like if you just have the the free time to do stuff like that, I mean. I was playing that actually at school for a little bit. Yeah, I've, I've just been trying to uh, 
since I've had so many fucking knee injuries. I'm like Derrick Rose 2.0. Oh! I've, I've just been playing golf so much, man. I've been just trying to get out there and hit the links. Played with my dad yesterday. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah, they opened up the golf courses, right? Yeah, they, they went to... Uh, they went from having four people... Um, and they went from having two people and having to drive separate carts to now having you're allowed to go out in foursomes. It's just, I don't know. It seems like quarantine is kind of like dying down a little bit, at least. You know, people are like letting up kind of on what's yeah, going man, on. Yeah, man, it's like we're, we're getting out of this lockdown. Yeah, dude. Well, it's taking time. Yeah, I mean, that shit was scary, man. I mean, people, people were in like danger for like a long time. I mean... I knew, uh, I knew somebody who had it, and their, uh, their mom was in, like, the ICU. It was pretty crazy. That's crazy, because yeah, I knew someone whose mom had it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... Wild. It, yeah, it's insanity, man, because, like, people were making fun of it on Twitter and stuff like that. A couple the memes. Weeks, yeah, a couple weeks ago, the memes before yeah. it hit the U.S., and it was, I knew the U.S. was going to be in trouble, dude, because everybody's so ignorant here. Everybody just wants to go out and have a good time. Yeah, bro, I got a question for you. What's up? So, like, do you have, like, one story in your life that's, like, changed you completely? One story in my life? Um. I, I could pause if you want to think real quick. Or, like, let, let nah, nah, you're good. Um. I'm thinking about my, uh. Phys- <laughs> like, physically changed me? Talk about my face. Yo, Forrest Gump. Does, uh. uh I don't know why Forrest Gump just Snapchat me. Oh, word! I gotta go throw my phone over here. Forrest Kramer. Yeah, shout shout out to Forrest. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, but recently my uh. I got into a bar fight at the barn. I lost my tooth. That's what happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I wish you had a video so I could be able to show it. The barn out. is wild and. Yeah, the barn is fucked up, man. Stay away from the barn. But I'm not going to stay away from the barn. Cause I went there once. Yeah, dude, the barn's lit. I had an angry orchard. I downed it in 30 minutes. and You finished one beer in 30 minutes? I think I slammed it. I thought it was you're, soda. You're an animal, Joey. <laughs> yeah, it was. I got pretty drunk. And I was in the bathroom, and Rob was like, Don't worry, Joe. This is the drunkest you'll ever get. <laughs> have you not drank since? Actually, no. I have not drank since my first semester of college. Yeah, I drank um, a couple of days ago. I uh, had four beers in two hours, and I was vomiting from 1 a.m. to 11. So I, uh, I learned my lesson the hard way. Well, folks. yeah, Joey, I mean, yeah. just, just, it goes by body weight. So. Yeah. and But, you know, I'm getting my body weight up there. Now. Yeah. Again, slowly, uh, I'm building gains. Quarantine is the time to do it, man, just. Is the best time to exercise, be, work out. Yeah, you should just be working out and just munching. Yeah, I've just been trying to avoid cardio, like running around. Yeah, that shit sucks. I just do push-ups. Yeah, push-ups, that's good for like arm strength and stationary stuff, but going on runs is good. Um, What's it called? I try to play sports as much as I can. I try to go play like soccer or uh, golf, like I was saying before. Golf's, golf's a great game, dude. Dude, I gotta hit up the range with you. Yeah. I, um... I, uh... I just started going to the range recently. Like, I, I played golf my entire life. Like, I've been I've been golfing since my, I was, like, a kid. But I was never really, like, that, like, crazy into it. But recently, I've just been going, like, crazy. I've been going to the range as much as I can. Like, taking it really seriously. Because it's not about, uh... If you can perfect your swing... Um... If you can perfect your swing, you're gonna be able to like. Doesn't really matter what club you like. Yeah. What clubs you have, you know. I always like whenever I hit, I try to go as straight as possible. Mm-hmm. But all these curves, I played, right? I played the other day with my dad, and we were playing with these. It was a really funny story. My uh, we played at this place called Pinchbrook, which is like a half hour away, and my dad was there with this woman, and um. <laughs> No, no, no. Me and my, no, no. Me and my dad went. I said that completely wrong. Me and my dad went, and there was this guy that who was playing with his with his wife, obviously. Okay. And we played in a foursome together. And then after the round ended, a week later, like, out of nowhere, they pulled into the parking lot when we were pulling in. 
got out of their car, and then it turns out that we were playing with each other again, and we didn't plan it at all on two completely different golf courses. It was crazy, dude. Dude. Yeah, it's it was, like coincidental it really, yeah, yeah, to yeah, it's, that. It's coincidental, yeah, bro. They were, like, spying on us when we were going to play. But she, uh, what I was, my point was is that she, uh, she wasn't crushing the ball whatsoever, but she was hitting the ball straight, and that's she all looked, that matters. Uh, I thought you were going to see she threw the club into space. No, no, no. Older lady, man, and she was... She was hitting the ball like I mean, like I said, she was hitting it good. She was hitting like fifty yards, not even, but it, it was go. It was. I mean, you can keep up that way, you know. Yeah, man. I think it's easier to hit it shorter and straight than it is to hit it like cause you wanna, longer distance. Because when you get good at when you get better at golf, you start to want to put more power on your shots so you can hit it further and keep it straight. And that's when you start getting action like like slicing, like when you start curving it left or you start curving it right. For, so I'm a lefty. So when I curve it left, is a slice. Oh, you you so you're a righty. Lefty? Yeah. So when you're a righty, when you're shooting yeah. righty, when you hit it, when it curls to the right for you, that's a slice. You know when it cr- hooks outwards like that. Yeah. It's all in the hip. Yeah. So it's what I do. So what I do is I yeah I I start um <laughs> I start facing the right. So when I hit it with I hit it it like dr- it automatically just curls back in towards the center. So you gotta like you that's, that's what I mean. Sick. That's what I mean. You learn how to like play your shots and stuff like that. But I'm not, I'm not by any means good, but Tiger Woods. I'm getting a lot better than I was. Rory. Rory McIlroy isn't even that good anymore. Really? No. What about that one guy, Jack Nicholson? Jack Nicholson's an actor. Oh. Oh. Got the wrong, uh, wrong name. Yeah, then you got the wrong one there. Yeah. It sounds familiar though. Yeah. Uh, I just wish I was playing right now, honestly. It's such a nice day. Oh, dude, it's unreal out. But thank you for your, t- thank you um for your time, man, coming here. No, dude, of course. We've been waiting to do this forever now. I mean. Yeah, it's been a, a two-year grind doing this yeah, podcast, dude. but. You've got, I, you've I got think some it's funny guests it. on here. Me, uh, me and Luke Rowe have gone way back playing hockey together. Um, if you watch, Gabe. If he watches this, check your bag. <laughs> what? No, nah, you wouldn't. You got. You got. You. That was junior year, the hockey team. Cheese. No, nah, check your bag. Oh. After uh, that was that's a funny story. You know when we won the Halverson. Yeah, the Halvey. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't want to know what you did to that cup. No, we, we didn't do it. No, we didn't do anything. People either. done things to that no, cup. We took it. Uh, we took it. Um, we took it to school the next day. It was that was funny, man. That was a good time. I miss playing hockey with them. He plays at fucking Air Force now, bro. That's fucking yeah. unreal. That's crazy. He scored in the fucking outdoor game that they're in. He's a fucking animal. He went from being on this podcast to doing that. Yeah, dude, he's that, a beast. That's amazing. Yeah, it's it's going to be cool what, to see what everybody who has been on, what they're going to be doing yeah, in a couple I, years I, from I now. Think, I don't think I'll be on TV, but... No, bro, you got to believe in yourself. <laughs> I know, I'm just fucking with you, bro. You fucking with me I'll cu- on my own show? <laughs> uh, that's uh, a good you, one. Uh, how's, uh, how your fucking dogs doing, man? Well, aren't you trying to... Uh, take a bite out of you today. Well, yeah, that I mean, happens. He's, he's so. a dick all the time. Uh, Louis, Louis's doing well. Louis, Louis's always been the shit. Louis's always been the shit. Rest in peace, Molly. Yeah, Molly, girl. You know who got a dog recently? Who? Frankie. Frankie did? Yeah. Frankie got, a some pit bull thing. Named, uh, Polly Walnuts. Yeah, pit bulls, pit bulls get a bad rap. Shout out to all the pit bulls out there, yeah. Roof! No, but they, uh... Cause people think they're like um, they're vicious. Yo, do you do you remember that one time? Uh, it was before your, we had like a sleepover one night. Do you remember when that girl like decked you? Who? Some girl like decked you while you're playing hockey. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. Um, yeah, dude. It was in a game way back. Um, we were playing like the bubble or something. Yeah, there was these things called um, per diems, and uh, I think it was a menin. Menin? Oh yeah, yeah. It was at uh, we were playing in a 
in like a rec game. So kids who play travel would come back and play with the rec kids, and they'd be called per diems. So I was playing a per team game, and I was just skating up the middle, just trying to stick handle around people. And this girl just stepped up on defense and laid me the fuck out, dude. She it was like the funniest thing ever. You were right on your back. Oh no, dude! I had my head down the whole time, going up the center of the ice, and she just, she just took a step. She just took a step and laid me out, bro. It was hilarious. Oh. Yeah. She took one step into me and just... I was on my ass right after that. Have you ever played, like... What's it called when, like, men and uh, ladies are on the same team? Intramurals? Yeah, like an intramural team. Nah, I didn't play intramurals. With hockey? Nah, nah, nah. Not at school. They have that for soccer, right? No, because they know, uh... There's no such thing as intramurals in like high school yeah. and co- there's only intramurals when it's at the college level. Those are like those are just like for like fun. It's like a gym class, you know. I played mean? one of those. Yeah, just so it, they're like gym class. Yeah. Yeah, we but lost the like, tournament. Yeah, but I scored a goal. In what? Uh, intramural soccer oh, nice. this uh, semester. Yeah, but um, we we so there would be girls. There's girls teams in high school. Like there's actual girls teams at certain high schools and colleges, but uh. Obviously, college hockey, women's college hockey. But um, in high school, we had a few girls on our team. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Uh-huh. They would lay people the fuck out. I was playing... Uh, girls who play... Girls who play... Uh, girls who play hockey are tough, man. Tough people, bro. They will lay you out. A little scared about that. It's like a world star thing, you know? Yeah, um, who are you talking to, man? No, I'm not talking to anybody. I just got an email from my job. Where are you working now, man? No, uh, so at JMU, I take, uh, since I'm in the sport and recreation management major in the hard school, it's called, I, uh, I run facilities management. So oh. I don't run it, but I'm in facilities management. I, uh, I have the couple of shifts every week where I like walk around at all the facilities at JMU like inside the sports the, the, the football stadium inside the soccer like everywhere they have like a inside soccer no nah, it's outside it's okay really nice. and then uh, the football stadium's massive the new basketball arena um, the old basketball arena and then I also work in uh, my practicum so I was taking basically to graduate from my major you need to do like a it's basically a mini internship, and then you have to do like a like an actual internship. So your practicum basically is like a school job. It's like you do a job, but it's for school. So basically, what I was doing was um, uh, I was working in a concentration at the baseball softball field, and I was doing like setting up the lines in between games and like. You ever set see up anything like bad funny while working? Yeah, well, um, I saw a. Uh, Quinnipiac JMU baseball game. A kid hit a um, QU Quinnipiac. Yeah. Hit an absolute piss missile to, to right center. <laughs> and then he's rounding first and he yelled, Suck my dick to the freaking kid, the, kid, the pitcher, bro. And the ump heard it and fucking tossed him. It was so. Funny. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, dude. It's really, really. Is there like a big rivalry between them? No, two? not no. at all, dude. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Just, to some people, what is a piss missile? Is it like a home run? A piss missile would be like you actually hit the shit out of the ball. Like you crush it. Like a mad... Yeah, like Barry Bonds. Mad hit. Like Barry Bonds. Like Royd hit. Yeah, like Barry Bonds style. Like, like you're not going to see the wall again. Like, Jeez. Yeah. I can imagine. I just picture it in my head. Yeah, dude. Some kids hit bombs, bro. So how's it being back in the beer? Is it um, cool yeah. seeing all the boys and girls? Yeah, dude. I, I've been loving it so far. I mean, obviously, you miss home. Like, this is where you come from. But, like, uh, like I said before, Virginia's just different, bro. And I'm only going to get four years down there and losing a whole semester of it kind of sucks. I mean, I was here on spring break. And that's been shit hit the absolute fan. So. I, I feel you. I was, um, actually went down the shore on spring break. Oh, really? There, yeah, I just there came, was no one there. Yeah, I just came home and I was hanging out and I was getting ready to go back. And then next thing you know, yeah, like it just yeah changed all of a sudden. The world fucking fell apart. And now we're, but the it I think it peaked already. Uh, don't quote me on that, but like I think the uh, the worst is behind. I think the worst of the yeah the worst of the coronavirus is behind us. 
What do you think of like the protests going on right now? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a lot to it. I mean, like I think, I think there's a difference between peaceful protesting, which they have every single right to do, you know, like that. It's uh, it's it, that video. There's no no excuse. The, the cop. Yeah, there's no, did yeah, burn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no excuse Floyd. for what that cop did. You know, we see it a lot. It's really it's really really bad. There's there is a problem you can't deny it in our country, but uh. You also can't let, you know, because we've seen so many videos on Twitter recently of, like, you know, like, cops, like, like being there for people, you know, like, standing with people, like, giving statements saying... Protesting like, alongside. Yeah, 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 protesting alongside them, like, basically saying, like, the actions of one of us does not, like... Paint the rest yeah, of us. Yeah, does not paint like the, the picture same. of the rest of us. Yeah. So, it was, um... It's hard to watch, man. And I think a lot of it, like, the people breaking into Target and, like, breaking the ATMs to get money out. Yeah. That's not, you're not, that's, you're not there for George Floyd, you know what I mean? I, I was uh, reading a story today, um, I think President Obama or someone was talking about this. Uh-huh. There was, um, this old lady, she just wanted to get food. Yeah. But the grocery store was burned down. Yeah, it's tough, it, man. It's gonna know? be tough to... People, I saw a tweet today, too, that I was just, yeah, for years, like, this... Certain places that lose stores like that, they don't just get rebuilt. Like, the people lose, like, resources in these areas. Like, you know, Flint, do you remember Flint, Michigan, the riots yeah. there? They still, I heard. Uh, they're, they're still hurting. I, th- I think, I, I might be wrong on the location here, but I saw something about a location that lost, um, uh, they lost, like, lots of, um, like, stores. They lost, like, a uh, shopping, like, places to get food, you know, like, stuff like that. It's rough. I mean, they have every right to be angry, but, like, there's, there's just violence has to stop, in uh, my opinion. I was talking to my cousin yesterday, he's from Philly, mm-hmm. and, um, they marched all the way to, you know, the King of Prussia Mall? Yeah, yeah, It's, yeah. like, where he works. They marched all the way out there. They wow. went right by his house. That's insanity, man. I mean, I, there's, uh, like, there's people, there's people doing the right thing. Right? I think there's right people there on for, both sides yeah. doing right, and there's also People on, on both, both sides, sides doing wrong. Doing wrong, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a great way to put it, man. I mean, I'm not I'm not choosing sides here. I mean, there's just needs. We just got to find a solution, but it's got to be done together, you know? We're all people. It's not just political. Can't be people pointing the fingers, but you also get to... What's scary to me is, like, social media is, like... I, it's like a weapon. Bro. I have to kind of delete it sometimes. Yeah, dude, it's a it, weapon. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's not... It's like... I saw something today that was, like, uh... It, it's people like Photoshop pictures and like they don't tell you the whole narrative behind the story. Like there's there's one woman who had a knife trying to like go at somebody, but like you don't know why she was defending herself. You don't know. I, I saw you can take a video and paint it any way, shape, or form. Someone, someone. Um, I not, not we're not gonna discuss Trump at all, but I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Fuck politics. Yeah, but I'm saying I, uh, <laughs> there was a picture of like saying there's Trump with a. a someone and then there was Epstein cropped in and someone right under it said LOL and showed the actual picture and was like no they, they said he raped someone yeah whatever all this stuff is oh going yeah on. yeah and no no the picture is Trump and then it's obviously an edited image of Epstein put into it to make it look like he was with Donald Trump but it wasn't that and it's just I believe this is satirical so that counts yeah. right it's kind of yeah, satirical it, yeah, if you look at it that way but it's yeah. just uh, I don't think anything about Epstein is funny I fucking hate that guy yeah, I didn't know much about him. I just know the memes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it's just rough. I hope we, I hope we as a nation can like recover from this. Not even that. Just figure it the heal. F- figure it the fuck out. But um, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on, man. Yeah. There's not many. There's no like textbook way to protest. You know. There's no textbook way to. It's just rough. It's just the. Uh... And I think it's I think it's even worse with uh, people being caught in quarantine, and it, it's just really uh, it's more fuel to the fire. Yeah, it's more fuel to the fire because people are just upset right now, and I think it's really hard to. Uh, I think it's really hard to. Um, to like tell people how to feel, you know. There's just been so much shit going on, and like honestly, like believe it or not, like there's no 
there's nothing like no organized sports people are just like sitting inside watching movies all day it's just it's not a good time for anybody right now 2020 2020 has been fucking awful what what's next 2020 yeah. aliens like yeah seriously like this is getting i'm seeing memes on twitter saying like june like it's a, it's, a, it's a picture of like someone like that's really like beaten up just like really like down in the dumps and it's like june like what's next like what are you gonna throw at us like I I don't know what next month entails. Shit just keeps coming, bro. I thought Rona was dying down, and then there's this whole this whole shit that's been going on the past week. Yeah, it's just been bad, man. I've always through like all this negativity. I've just been looking for the positives. Like, yeah, exactly. I've been trying to like retweet or, or when I was at college, and uh, I was around negative people, I cut some people off and surround myself with positive people. Yeah, that's the textbook way to do it, bro. On social media, when you see negative stuff, sometimes you gotta look for the positive. Yeah, you can, you can craft your social media, like, feeds to feed into whatever, like, attitude you want. You know what I mean? A lot of, uh, my feed is a lot of, um... Like, I follow a lot of sports stuff. I don't follow a lot of stuff that's, like, (laughs) political, just to bring you down. My feed has a lot of, uh, Thick booties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a lot of BB Rexa. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <good. laughs> that's. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's what you get. <laughs> so I. I mean. That's better than. That's better than seeing it, other shit. I guess. I uh, I I see what you say about like social media as a weapon. I. So they had this video I watched a few days ago, like NYPD police cars. Yeah. Driving into people. Yeah. And then I go into the news and watch the same thing. Mm-hmm. But they said they put up barricades. That's why the cop cars ran into these people. Yeah, the people had barricades. See, that's what I mean. There's you like two sides to the There's two sides to the story always. So you got to take, take it with a grain of salt, man. Yeah, there's like all this uh Like I saw, I saw people, like I saw like in that one target that got just leveled. I saw, uh, what is it? Um, the cash register? No, 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 not that. Uh, it was like this this woman. She was white, running with a with a fucking lamp in her hand, to, out of the store. It's like, what are you like? What the fuck are you doing there? You know what I mean? Is it, is it, people look for like opportunities to just like capitalize. I saw a guy trying to get a fucking ATM onto a bus. Yeah, I saw that. And he's like, you're really gonna leave me out here, really? It's like, what? You, you're really gonna bring a. Whole ATM, a whole fucking ATM, ATM on a bus. A bus. The woman on the bus is like, "No, like, what the fuck are you doing?" And it, it wasn't even like people were like protesting around him. He's just dragging a fucking ATM onto a bus. Do you remember? I don't even think you can like do. I don't even think you can like. People have tried to steal ATMs before. I guarantee it. You can't just like. Can you do that with an ATM? You wanna go try? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have the weight to carry one. Oh no, I don't. Those things are like fucking... Need a chair He was like dragging it. He was dragging it on the ground. Jeez. Yeah, dude. Do you remember like the good old times before this? Dude, that's what the scariest part is. I don't remember what normal life feels like. I know. I'm like, forget what it feels like to go out to eat, you know? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I have like Snapchat videos of me going to Chipotle like, with dude, my friends. Dude, really, you want, you really like and I'm ta- like, what yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah. Like, like, we take it for granted. Yeah, seriously, bro. You really realize how much you take like sports or anything for granted. Life for granted, you know? Like, people are dying out here. Yeah, like, man. More people died from coronavirus, like, like crazy rate. Like, you take like a lot of shit for granted. I, I guarantee there was a lot of people who passed away, sadly, who like, were like, you know, it's just the flu. You know, whatever. Yeah, like, people... You know, we, we tell people yeah. these things. I mean, that was a whole mess, because people were yelling, telling other people to stay inside, and it's just bad. Yeah. But, you know what we could at least do? What? Besides talking about all this negativity? What? We could, we could, turn, we could make it positive. Yeah. We could uh, help people get through these times. Yeah, dude. You always gotta be... Uh... I try to be an ally for the, those people, you know. I try to like let it be known that like they're not, they're not alone. We need bear grills. Yeah, we need bear fucking <laughs> bear fucking we need bear grills. fucking grills. Yeah, man. What the fuck is that guy doing? I wonder. <laughs> I really wonder what the fuck that guy is doing, bro. For all those who don't know, Bear Grills is a ma- uh, host from Man vs Wild, and uh, if they don't know who Bear Grills is, oh, fucking. I, yeah, yeah, true. Unsubscribe. <laughs> 
unsubscribe to me if you don't know who Bear Grylls is. Bear Grylls is the, uh... He's the, he's, he's the, the G. He's the fucking... He's oh, G. He's the fucking goat. I need, I need water. I need water. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> I found a food so... I just, like... I don't think we understood, like... The dude drinks his own pee. No, like, not even that, bro. Yeah. I don't think, it, I don't think we understand, like... Like, how do you think you, like, apply for that job? Like, for... To be Bear Grylls is, like... To be Bear Grylls is, like, cameraman. Like, how the fuck do you, like... You have to do the same uh, stuff, No, probably. but, like, how do you, like, a, like how do you get that job? Like, you, you jump off a helicopter with a fucking guy, and you film him in a fucking jungle for a week. Like, what the hell? What are you doing? Like, are you, do they come pick you up? Like, what? There's no hotel. Maybe one guy has a tent, and the other guy One don't. time they caught him. They caught him going to a hotel one time. Really? They caught Bear Grylls straight up going to a hotel, yeah. Whoa. Like, he got off a plane. Like, he doesn't stay the night, some nights, but, like... It's all TV, bro. You'd be shocked. One of the fucking craziest things I think I've ever seen is, um... You know the Real Housewives of, like... New Jersey? Yeah, or whatever, Atlanta, whatever, or whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Fucking a yeah. hundred different type times. Yeah, like, man. Different shows there are. But, um... I find it so hilarious is how, like... There's cameras on them at all times, you know? They're literally talking shit to each other on camera. Like, like talking to each other about someone else. Yeah, that other like person, Jersey Shore. That other person's gonna see the show. They're gonna see the clip of you talking shit about them. It's like, why, like... Why even it's so, speak? Yeah, no, no, it's not even that. It's like, why... It's so staged. Like, why? Like, you know they're gonna see it. Like, you know yeah. exactly what's gonna happen. Like... I think that's insane. It's just such like scripted television. That's just it's it, my mom called it the other day. It's like it's like brainless television. For yeah, real. Yeah, she was like, I need to read. Uh, like this this shit's like killing my brain. That's why I don't watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians anymore. Yeah, freaking um I wouldn't do I never even fucking started watching that show. They're so fake. You see Kylie Jenner, like she like not forged her page, like you know she the, was like the, the billionaire, the billionaire, billionaire fucking bullshit that she was in. Yeah, dude, that's what she's worried about right now. The rich kid. Yeah, you know what bothers me about them? All the shit that's going on. They they still find a way to make the news. Still, always they will. They'll always find a way. It's like oh, uh, all the shit's going on. Um, Kylie forged papers. Get it into the news. Go do it. Wait, yeah. media coverage almost. <laughs> yeah, right? So freaking yeah. stupid. Stupid shit. Mm. Yeah, man. Do you have any, like, hometown stories? Like, from Roxbury? Yeah. Um. <laughs> dude, there's so many, I can't even fucking... Beery count. Brothers. Um. Yo, who won beer pong? Who won a beer, what do you mean? You played beer pong in your story, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah who yeah. won? Who won yeah, that? It was fucking me, of course. Me and my, uh... I wasn't, uh... It was just a little, like, celebration for my 21st birthday. Like, hey, happy birthday! No, it's not my birthday. My oh. birthday was, like, a month ago. Jeez. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm March 30th. You said happy birthday. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm yeah. just I'm just double-checking. <laughs> yeah. I thought, you know, I'm just double-checking. Yeah, you, don't, you don't know if you said happy birthday to someone? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's the type of world we're living in. Now. Yeah, bro. It fucking no, sucks. But, um... Definitely, uh... Just had, like, a couple of people over... I was trying to invite more people, but my parents were just being annoying about it. So you, this is because you know the last time I uh, there was a party at my house at night. That was the night I lost my tooth. So like, yeah, I got my shit rocked. Yeah, man, crazy times, man. Yeah, dude, I feel you. Yeah, would you like to give any shout outs to anybody? I don't know. I mean, shout out to all my boys. Anybody I know watches this, uh, thanks for uh, giving it a listen. Joey Sure Pod. <laughs> for the fucking win. Sure Street, sure Street Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I don't know where that voice came from. Yeah. Yeah, man. I just, uh, yeah, shout out to all the, uh, shout out to all the fellas if any of them watch this. Marky, Justin Dill. I gotta get Marky on. Joey the Man Greenberg. <laughs> greasy yeah. huh greasy greasy <laughs> <laughs> holy shit I don't know why I got something definitely wants to watch
I stole it from Sam's room. It's mine. Oh. It's mine now. That's fucks. Yeah. I've yet, I've yet to get like a. Uh, it ain't ticking in his room. I've yet to have like a nice, like a nice watch. Got a couple that are just kind of like knockoff ish. Yeah. I got like one of those on Amazon for like fifteen dollars or less. Anything on Amazon's fire, bro. Yeah, check this out. It's from Back to the Future. Oh, like it's the calculator. It's yeah, yeah. Dwight from the office. The calculator watch. Yeah, it got his glasses too. Does it actually? Does it actually like? Yeah, it actually does calculate. No fucking way. Yeah. Dwight K. Schrute. <laughs> okay. That shows goaded. Sixty-nine times sixty-nine equals. Four thousand seven hundred and sixty one. <laughs> clear that. There's a clear button on it and everything. What else does it do? Let me see. Uh it's like an alarm. Yeah, it's oh, pretty it's sick. Just, it's just like simple. It divides, I think. <laughs> well no no, I'm saying it's like simple math, like subtraction, addition, yeah. division and it's almost division. like a tip calculator, you know, like kinda like our phone. It's, it's pretty cool though. No, but it's like uh this is for like a quick, uh, <laughs> it's like a quick, like if you're like an account, like you said. Like, yeah, man. You need just like a quick, uh, what's well, like 66 times five, you know? Like, yeah, you're just quick, quick maths, quick maths. <laughs> That's actually really, I mean, that will come in handy for people like freaking like, uh. With I, small fingers. Well, if they're on like the row and they need to find out like a quick, like, uh, what's it called? Like payment or whatever Quick, it is. Uh, if they need to, how much they can tip? Yeah, something like that. That's perfect for like a tip kit, but no one's gonna fucking wear that just for tips. It's fucking ridiculous. That's why I have an iPhone calculator app, you know? Yeah. See so, how, yeah, so, yeah, like problems change and like change like that? Yeah. They, they become answers. Yeah, dude. I think, uh, I think it's crazy how much they Like, I always think about it all the time. Like, what do you think like technology is gonna be in like in like fucking like 20 years? Like, our kids are gonna have like fucking some some like, they're company. Be, like, they're be, like flying around. Like. Yeah, true. Some company recently tried to make a holographic phone. I heard didn't work Holograph. out too well. Last time I saw a fucking holographic was like the remember the two co- the Tupac hologram. Yeah, yeah. Up yeah. On stage and he was yeah. like fucking people were going like what the fuck <laughs> like, is that Tupac yo? <laughs> That's crazy. It rose out of concrete, man. Yeah, dude. That's what uh hopefully twenty twenty brings. Yeah. We, I think of uh. I think there's hope. You know you gotta have hope with everything you do. Yeah, of course, dude. Um, I think that uh. Do you miss mini hockey? Oh, dude, fuck yeah, I miss mini hockey. I miss mini hockey. I play mini hockey right now if I, if my knee wasn't fucking booty cheeks. I miss being young, like being uh. We're still young, Joey. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, you're 22. You're 22. Turn it on 23. You're 22, almost 23 now. It's wild like that. Who types in 330? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the. Nah, it's 4. It's, four three, it's 310. Oh, yeah, it's an hour behind this thing. Yeah, I mean, because it's, uh, it's probably not uh, good enough where it like, adapts to. Uh, what's it called? Like. The, the GPS satellite. No, the GPS satellite. The, uh... What the, what the fuck? Daylight savings. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> we went full... Full... We're, we're idiot, for... Idiot mode right there. <laughs> we're forgetting things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, you seen any good movies lately? Oh, um... 1917, that new, uh... Yeah, dude. That shit was, that shit was unreal. I almost threw... Uh, dude, I'm not... I don't do well with, like, uh... That is the last film I saw with Big Sure. I don't do well with, like, I don't know why, but it's, like, like, knives to the stomach or, like... Yeah! Or, like, a knife or, an, like, seeing something down your throat. Anything, like, oh. that. Anything with, like, I, I can take... It's weird, dude. I can blow someone's head off in, like, COD and be, like, uh... Oh, yeah. You can see it in movies. It doesn't, like... It, I don't get, like, that disgusted. It, it's, like, desensitized. But it's just, it's just something that's, like, really, really, like... I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't wanna, like, spoil the movie for anybody, but... The kid gets, I mean, if you haven't seen it, just, like, skip. But the kid gets fucking, 
he's like a the the sh- the plane crash. That's the plane. Yeah, yeah. The I German, know this. The German accent. gets out and he's trying to help the German, and the German just shanks him. And the the knives back then were just so long. It probably touched his like. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know how that makes you squirm. Yeah. It probably touched his belly, and then he like he's like oh. And the next thing you know, it's like he starts to feel. He he just starts to feel weird. And the next thing you know, he just starts sp- not spraying blood, but, it's but like coming you out. You see the pool just coming out, and he just starts dripping all down his body. And then oh. by the time he dies, his entire like shirt is just blood soaked. It's disgusting. It's like he it took. It wasn't even like a like a quick shot to the like you know to the head or a chest. It, it was a quick. It was like really fast scene. It was like five. No, but it was like it was literally like three minutes. Can you imagine just sitting there for three minutes just bleeding out? I would hate that, bro. I don't want to go quick. Yeah, that was like the last film I saw at AMC. That movie was crazy. I liked how every shot was like a one shot. Oh uh, yeah, like, long, I was long about to say shots. that. It was it was so perfect. Uh, it was so perfect. The editing, like, the and cine- everything. It won awards for cinematography because of like the way they did it, like. The whole, you know, the beginning scene when they first go out into the yeah, trench. Yeah, it's like all, it follows. It's them all the whole one time. scene. It's one scene for literally like a half hour. It doesn't stop. It's so cool. It was um. Or the whole thing is the, one shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it it was like a good fellow scene, but like the whole movie. That and also uh, what's it called? Was also very very good. Um, one of my favorite movies, Dunkirk. Dunkirk was great. Was I saw that also at AMC, which uh-huh. sadly is now bankrupt. I think. Yeah. What did you think about the, uh, what do you think about, uh, what's that movie called? Parasite? Oh, Star Wars. Never talked to you about that. Oh, the new Star Wars. Yeah. Actually, no, I think that was the last one I saw in AMC. Either that one or 1917. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually did a review on this. Yeah? I think I gave it, like, a four out of five or something like that around there. Like, I liked it. Like, I love like, the ending of it, but... Yeah, I mean... You know, we grew up with, like, six films, remember? Yeah, it's just, like, I don't... I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, neither do I. I think it's really, um... I thought it was good, but I thought it sometimes it was just kind of, like, corny. It was too, like, for the kids, you know? Not enough for the people who've been with it forever. Yeah, like... You know? It just seemed really corny. I feel like they... I, I love Kylo Ren's, uh... I love Kylo Ren's character arc, though. His character arc is, like, possibly one of the most interesting, you know? That scene was sick where, like, she puts the behind her back. Yeah. And then he just gets it. And then it. he gets it. Yeah. yeah. drops into his hand, and he's like this. Kills and he, everybody. And he just stabs everybody, bro. I love that scene. Dude, that scene was sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, full of uh, nostalgia a little bit, yeah, but, dude. like... There's a couple of scenes in movies that, like, are really fucking nuts. Like, uh... Dunkirk when, um... The Spitfire like, oh, hits dude. the water. Oh, dude! All of that shit. Like when when I, he he casts the. Like, I thought Don Kirk. Shit? I thought Don Kirk was so cool because it's three different points of view that all start. It's like one point of view starts, and then the next one starts like twenty five minutes into the movie, and then twenty five minutes in another one starts, and then they keep circling back to each other at like a really like yeah. it's it, it's like a rate that like it keeps flipping back one, two. Three and then it gets faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then to the end, they're all converging on literally the same fucking spot. It's so cool. That movie was literally a masterpiece. Freaking Harry Styles is in it, yeah. He shaved his head. He played like. Wasn't there like some dude like, who was a, like a German? He's a fucking frog. Yeah, he's he a, was a German. He's guy. a fucking frog. Yeah. He's a crowd, yeah. mate. He's, he's a, a crowd. He's a fucking crowd. Yeah, dude. Dude, that movie. Something loving. When you're in the Spitfire, I was in the sheet. Shit. I I was in the seat, and it was like shaking. Really? Yeah, it was like shaking the seat at AMC. Oh, bro. They did that on, uh, I think, IMAX cameras. Oh, really? And actually on film. Like, actual film. Really? So, IMAX is like one of the widest you can watch it on. Yeah. And wasn't it like circular, like the way you watched it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, like, shook? Like, it was legit? You were in the seat, and your seat was shaking. That's insanity, dude. I wish I saw it like that, because, you know, when they're on the beach, if you think about Dunkirk, dude, it's actually, like, fucking crazy, because it's, like... That's real. No, it's so legit, because it's, like, the Germans pushed the French and the English back to the border, and they were fucked. Like, 20, 300,000 soldiers were fucked, just sitting there on the beach, just waiting for ships to keep coming in, and ships could come in, and they would just get torpedoed. Just constantly. Even medic ships would just get bombed. 
and then they would be sitting on the beach in lines, and then next thing you hear, mm. next thing you hear is that really like whistling the, sound. The stuka. And then, yeah, then they look up in the air and they all start running and then drop to the ground and then it's just bomb after bomb after bomb just hits and then it's like they get back up and they get right back in line and then they just keep waiting. It was. They call it the mole for a reason. The just m- sat there. The mole. Okay. Yeah, so um, I just want to say thank you for uh, coming on the podcast. Man. Oh, of course, man. And I love talking about movies with you. Of course, dude. I miss playing Halo. We have to play it again. Of course, bro, We gotta do it again. I got the Xbox here. True. <laughs> yeah. Which I barely use, which I should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're a PS, you're a PS guy anyway. Yeah, but I broke a controller. You did? Yeah. Why, well, you throw it off the ground? No, it, it broke itself. It had controller drift. Uh huh. And. Huh. I think I lost it. Uh, you lost it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, everyone. Oh, my God, it. Joe. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Dude, it. the whole centerpiece just came out. All the. The, the start and. <laughs> the start and whatever buttons are. Yeah. <laughs> I tried fixing it. Like, because. Um, the joystick, uh, the left joystick, man, it kept drifting. Oh, yeah, that's what happened to my Xbox controller recently before yeah. I bought a new one. It got to the point where, um, this has to go, like, in, in. Like, there's no way. There's no fucking way I yeah. could fix it. You don't that. even have the option. You don't even have the buttons for it. No, so basically what happened was both of my sticks were jammed upwards. So I'd be playing Assassin's Creed, or I'd be playing Madden. Yeah. And my guys would be walking forward with their heads in the, out of the sky like this. Like, I like, almost... <laughs> finished with this fucking controller like AC Odyssey oh yeah but I couldn't do it yes. so now I have only one working controller which still sucks that sucks yeah it does well anyway to finish it up cause I could keep talking to you all day man for real yeah dude we gotta wrap this shit up oh yeah, yeah we can actually go for hours um all make right. sure to drop a like and subscribe to youngshire 37 for more Sure Street podcast Maybe one day we'll get an iTunes or something if uh, SoundCloud drops its price or something. <laughs> Peace. Peace, everybody.